The reunion was fun though. Like the one the one time we the did Legion it, it felt really reunion. good. Yeah, man, that was really fun to do. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever think of doing it on Netflix or? And since <laughs> you, you, the, you think that question's ever come people, up? <laughs> how many people on Twitter now just say that? Just to, I feel like they're just doing it to annoy me. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> but but when people do seriously bring it up to me, like some people still do, like you got to bring that show back. It's like I'll say it one more time. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't have the power to bring... Go to HBO. Shut your fucking mouth. I did text Colin <laughs> after and say that we should do a few live shows because that was really good and it was fun. It was a really easy yeah, time. Why'd you, why'd you choose to take that off the air? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just see if I have my uh, my text. Well, you know, I, here's the text I sent to Colin. It was it was uh, 12.31 a.m., like a night later. Whoa. Yeah, Night Owl. I know we've discussed it, <laughs> but we really should consider doing a couple of live shows somewhere. Tough crowd reunion shows. Maybe a thousand seat or six hundred. This could definitely generate interest and it would be not be hard for all of us uh it would not be hard for all of us to sign up and do it. Uh it'd be so much more fun than booking a theater show and just doing a one hour stand up. You know, just say we could all split sure. the market. It was it'd be fun to do with the guys. Did you get a response? Uh seven thirty the next night. I'm on the crashing set around the corner. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not a goddamn word. <laughs> now, in fairness, Colin may have been in bed for getting up for an early call. But I do. Yeah, think... but then he had the whole day the next day. <laughs> yes, he did. I that, mean, that, he got that would have been my next point. Yeah, that was part A. Part B was he did have the next day. Plus, he responded to you, so you you can see the text above when you're writing a text. Like you he knew the text was can. there. I guess. Uh, it eminent my my contempt for entrepreneurial Jimmy came through. <laughs> yes, Jim's like you know if we did a thousand, say, it's just I hate people that say shit that I obviously like that never occurred in my head. Like well right. we could do it though, and well you said that we should go out. You said that we I should did, go out. But yeah. I was I was being polite. I yeah know. I know. <laughs> but we should uh, we should do that. We get a few guys and and go out and do it. I think it'd be fun and we see if it means anything. Why not? It really is. Uh... How hard is that? You're about you're about sick of these goddamn no, but he's not. He knows I'm right. He knows Got I'm right. It. You get a few topics or whatever. You go do a live show. We do a fucking hour get and fifteen topics. minute show. Oh, yeah. He's already producing. Yeah, yeah. throw yeah. a few oh, topics shit. in we'll there. Topics. <laughs> yeah, get a couple of segments. But the segments were a little harder. The yeah, whole so anyway, let's do a couple of live shows. Let's let's put it together. Have you thought about doing it on YouTube? Well, if you do if you do a couple of live shows and people like it and go to it, then maybe that's a way to do it. No, of course. But I would, you know, so let's do it. A couple yeah. of live shows. Use the music. I don't think so. Why not? It'd be fun. You got your own live shows to worry about, don't you? Well, I have my own shows to worry about, and I just, I don't know. I just feel like, nah, I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, we do a couple of, uh, we'll book two or three. I mean, I mean, I'll do it for a weekend. Uh, Thursday, was, Friday, Saturday. I was watching, uh... Once again, thank you. There's another tea. Once again. Nice warm tea. Just the infuriated that he goes, we'll do it for a weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like, that's like a groundbreaking comedic idea. <laughs> well, I'm trying to, you know, lead us into getting Thursday, these shows. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. and Are those good comedy nights? I can't do Sunday because of radio. <laughs> <laughs> would you not have thought of that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I never would have came up with that. <laughs> so let's do uh, let's do a couple of weekends. Look, we'll you book could, a couple of we'll book you four could do, shows. You could do it this at a, like a... At a boardroom table or something right what? no you can't because Sam don't minimize our tough crowd reunion tour yeah I'm trying <laughs> to text him boardroom fucking table what does he mean no he's saying we can discuss this at a boardroom table oh but, meaning but you don't need to do it on the air right now he's like what do we do like a Thursday do you want to do a Thursday and a Friday no but it is like, good to do now because he brings up a good point he does not bring up a good point because when we try to do it off the air we don't get texted back he brings up a terrible point oh because you have us, him trapped yeah because he's on the set of crashing sorry Judd was giving me notes <laughs> Asshole. I love that. You're like, we should bring back the show you created. Yeah. And Colin's like, don't have time for that. I'm hanging out with Judd. Well, Colin wants to bring it back on some level because we talked about it. It was very fun. Of All of us were does. very sad at the end of it. It felt good. We enjoyed it. You know, uh, we, we want to do it again. Of course he does. That was quite a compelling argument. Yeah. Sure it was. We, yeah. we enjoyed it. We did. Um, we missed Patrice and, you know, Greg. Right. But it was right. still fun to do. It was fun. Everybody misses it. Just your sales pitch alone makes me not want to do it. You just spit yeah. your food as you were talking. It was the most cliche, horrible, <laughs> as funny as Norton is, as mm -hmm. original and funny and distinctive as he is. He, when he tries to be like a businessman, it's the most banal, boring. You're not wrong, but you're however, like a hack of a of a, of a, <laughs> a business man. hack. Yeah. Nor Norton's Norton's sincerity. 
is, is but just the fresh ideas he comes up with. <laughs> It'll be enjoyable. <laughs> we'll do it on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm trying to sell an idea. <clears throat> I know, Let but me you're defend myself. I'm not good at it. No, Mm-mm. but afterwards we were all enjoying it so much, and you even said like, "Yeah, we can." You know, you you were caught up in the moment, and then I was caught up in the moment. Yes, and then I and then I try to propel us and go. Let's book a couple of gigs. And I get no response, None. so now I have to go back into my sales pitch. I did try to propel us in that moment I into know, a few That's gigs. fair. I just that's feel fair. like going back to, I mean, maybe some incarnation of something, because I love the spontaneity of that day, but, you know what I mean? How about you we go you don't like do going it? back to the well? It just seems feels sad to me to go back and go, hey, tough crowd, you know. Well, just do it, and how about the, uh, but let's but do, uh, uh, let's, let's do a few gigs. Tough not happening, no. Okay. Right, for, the, for live the Tough Crowd tour is not happening. You got a hard no. All right, I tried. You got a hard pass. It's for yep. the fans, I tried. Yeah. It's on the record. You tried. You got a hard pass. Yeah. You got it, it was fun. Yes, it was it fun. Was fun. Hi. <laughs> Colin, I just have one suggestion. About what? Bringing Tough Crowd back. Podcast. You ever thought about that, Colin? <laughs> yes. Oh <my> God. <laughs> so no podcast then? Uh-uh. Why? No, Lou, I'm sorry. Okay. I oh. don't know. I just... Nick in Detroit has it figured out. All right. What's he's, up, got, Nick? he's got the business figured out. Right, we, something we haven't thought of. Nick? Hey, how's it going, boys? Colin, hey, how you doing? You're a legend. Um, Hi, Nick. Colin, I got this really fresh take, man. Have you ever tried to like take it to like Hulu or one of those other internet websites? Oh, Hulu. God that, damn it. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea Thank you, at madam. all. What the about most, Hulu? The most infuriating. I hope you're being ironic, Nick. I hung up. No, he meant it. It's a great idea. It. I don't. I think it's a good idea too. Hulu's a great idea. What about Hulu? Have you thought of that? How about Amazon? Oh, First of all, they do explain. TV now. Let me give everybody a reality check. Sure. <laughs> everybody listening right now. Right. There is no network, no place, no streaming. No, nobody would do a show correctly and be that brutally honest. Those days are all over. YouTube would let mm. us do it. YouTube Red or whatever. Yeah, we could do it somewhere. No, what about would. what nobody about Infowars? <laughs> <laughs> all right let's just let me just explain what's going to happen on the tough crowd tour first Tell of me. all everybody we're not we're not who we were 15 years ago that's true right a little older a little wiser a little wiser but everybody's a little bit more of a fucking diva too so everybody's right. gonna be like wait a minute it's got to be like this so we're gonna have to have a couple of assistants to take care of all the little minutia shit that we all used to take care of ourselves right no mm-hmm. that's okay yeah booking transportation okay so let's go to Philly, okay? We show up in Philly. Everybody wants a hotel room, right? Yeah. That's six, seven hotel rooms. Sure. Um, now we have the venue. We Who's going to take us to the venue? Promoter will... Pro- it's so who's simple. Who's a promoter? Hold on. You get a promoter. You get one road manager, a guy like Kenny, if he can do it. He takes care of all travel and hotel rooms. He coordinates with everybody. Simple. Why don't we tell the promoter, we we need a van to take us to the venue. The promoter has a vested interest in getting the performers to the venue. I got a better idea. They will get us to the venue. I can simplify this process. It's only worth it if we film it with Kenny running. (laughs) Okay, Nick. I'm telling you, but that's very simple stuff. We all get a hotel pickup. We all go to the fucking venue. We do the show. We come back, and then we do what we want. If we're driving, we all drive home separately, or we all sleep in the fucking hotel room. Nobody cares. (laughs) Here's what you do. You want to avoid all that? You do the Tough Crowd Tour. You bring back Tough Crowd, hosted by Colin Quinn. Here are my guests. Nick Mullen, Joe List, Mark Norman, and and Tim Dillon. Oh, yeah. And that's Tough Crowd. That's... That's the way to yeah, Welcome this. to the Tough Crowd New Blood Tour. Yeah, that's that's what you call You're 100% it. You're 100 right. Tough Crowd, the New Blood. You're right. Yeah, I'm ready now. Right. That's what was holding me back. That's these what you goddamn, need. You know. Yeah. These fucking these divas, these, these anchors on your uh, on your yeah. ankles. Not going to happen. Exactly. No. Stavros. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So what do you think of my idea? We'll go to Philly. Oh my god. Get a nice I like Sam's idea better. Yeah. What, what's Sam's idea? Get some New Blood. Get the I don't new like blood, that idea. <laughs> It's a new blood. Everybody's, I don't like that everybody, idea. Everybody's seen the old one, you know? Fucking Sam Morrell, fucking Dan. Yeah. Get, Sam Morrell. Who, who's Sam better than Who's better than Dan Soda for oh my God. Up a, uh, a dead spot? Get Dan Soda in. He'll He's do great. all the voices and everything. Yes. Charming. Girls like him. No oh. looks. Yeah. Imagine what Joe Mackey will come up with. Yes. You know, Sam Morrell is just throwing shit at Joe Mackey. Joe Mackey's throwing it right back. I'd go to that show. You'd hate it. You'd hate their podcast energy. You'd you'd hate <laughs> you'd hate their common bond podcast energy. Like if you had Nick and, and, and Stavros, or if you had uh, Joe and uh, and and, and uh, Sam Morrell. Anybody who does a podcast to get a big J. What if you and, did this and Dan together? You get Nick Mullen. You have to get right. him from different podcasts. Nick Mullen, Stavros, Joe Mackey. 
Sam Morrell. You call it Tough Crowd Battle of the Podcasts. War of the Casts. Yeah, yeah, Cast War. You'd, you'd hate it. How about this? We get yeah, those war. guys. Tough Crowd. We get cast those war. guys and just Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit? Yeah. Is this that's, fucking ironic? That's I'm perfect. fucking company's kind of shit. <laughs> he'd be so perfect. He'd be so pissed. Is that supposed to be a fucking clever, clever fucking line? <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Oh, I love the idea. I, I, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love the idea. Sam has done more to destroy the idea than <laughs> he has. everything I've ever done. However, but I like at the end of it. I, go, well, I love the idea. I love it. I think, I think, I think we're all on the same page now. Joe in New York, great idea. Number okay. three, go to three. Let's go there to Joe. You go. Uh, there you go. Number three is Joe in New York. Joe. Yes, sir. Pleasure speaking to all of you. Yes. Okay, if you're looking for a service, Compound Media. He's not throwing your ass off. That's, That's true. true. Okay, tough crowd on Compound Media. Are we signed? Yes, we've heard that. I've heard that. You have? Yeah. Oh. But, um, we, you know, they, he's right. They're the one place that wouldn't throw it off. They would never throw it off. No. No. So why not do it? Or you two wouldn't throw it off. I mean, it's just guys making fun of each other. Because, I, I don't know, I'm just not, a, I mean, I just can't imagine doing it as a show. As a regular show, but mm-hmm. we try it a couple of times, it. a couple of live times. We try. If it doesn't work, we don't. Do, we don't release it. If we don't like it. We don't release it. Uh, yeah, it's the worst that happens. You get a couple of live shows, but if people see it in front of a live venue and it's killing and it's, and it's funny and it's an hour, we would have maybe we would actually a half hour. We we fucking do a you know how fucking uh, do it if, for if a week. We don't like it. We don't do it. Do it, it for a weekend. I'll be, I'll be honest. Bring even, on Mike Cannon, the young the, guys. Even the one, even the one <laughs> thing that I liked, which was like the improvisational sure. skill. Nate from San Francisco fucking ruined that when he started calling us an improv show. <laughs> when he started calling you Who's Line? <laughs> yeah. A modern day Who's Line? Well, you were selling it as improv. Well, but, this would be great, though. You go on I the, blame Nate, not you, myself. No, you were saying your favorite thing was that it was improv, so Nate was just trying to run with that. You were the one who no, mentioned No, Nate was trying to destroy me with that. No, you go on the Tough slamming. Crowd Tour, okay? Yeah. And it becomes a big success. You just watch. Within a year, you're hosting Let's Make a Deal. You're vying for the oh. Drew Carey uh, oh. job. You're doing fucking f- car commercials? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? When I have to navigate around a tough crowd, I drive a Ford. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think that really happened. The first tough crowd around. I remember, here's how deluded I was about that show. When it first happened, mm-hmm. they were replacing uh, Craig Kilborn. On, or not before, no, so John was, was that, already in there. It was that late show. Before Craig Ferguson, I'm saying. No, I'm talking about that oh, oh. late stupid show. You know that late show that James yeah, Corden yeah, yeah. does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was Craig Whoever Kilborn were, and then, uh, they and then the, somebody the, right the around Scottish then. guy, right? And I was like, uh, they're going to Ferguson. They're gonna ask me, obviously. I'm going to turn it down. But you oh, thought you were next in line? <laughs> I said, they're going to beg me to do it. The, uh, just a tough crowd. They're going to obviously want somebody to host. So tough crowd was over. Tough crowd was just ending. Uh-huh. I was like, and that show was just getting a new host. So and what were they saying to you? Like, What, what broke down those negotiations? They literally, they showed their list of people that were, it was like 15 names. My name wasn't even one of them. <laughs> I was like, what? You didn't make the top 15? I didn't make the top, the, just the speculation idea. That were they you had. shocked? I was. I thought for sure. I said, I'm a host. Perfect show. I said, I'm not going to do it because it's in LA and I really don't want to do that. Right not now. for me right now. You're ready to turn it down. Never even was it even considered. It was never presented never as an a option. commercial. Never a got nobody wanted to, anything to do with Tough Crowd. Tough Crowd was, in many ways, a uh, you know, like I said, one of the things about it, you know, we could have done things different, but one of the things about it was it's everything that people claim they want, yeah, which is authentic, honest, spontaneous, yeah. honest stuff that where you're watching TV, but you're like, oh, these guys are f- without a net, like they're really saying whatever is coming up. They're not preparing to make sure it's funny. Sometimes you bomb, yeah. When you bomb, you get called out on it, including even the host. Especially and, the host. Yeah. You were there every night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh but yeah, it was in the long run, people say they want things until they see them, you know. We, yeah, and, and and it's right. Everybody says they want, you know, like this alternative to what's on television, and that was an alternative to what was on television. Yes, I, you know? I think that's the idea for a tough crowd. We could have guys <laughs> with liberal ideas on one side and conservative ideas on the other side. It's a good idea. Actually, an even better idea. Jack in New Jersey has a good thought. What's up, Jack? But, <laughs> hey, Colin, how about having a tough crowd float in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Huh? Actually... We're all just teasing each other from corner to corner. <laughs> and it's a good all way the to build alumni the buzz. be dressed as pilgrims and Indians, friends of wars and tinkers, and each one will have a mic, and they can walk alongside the float and confront people on issues. I love day, it. Huh? And, and Colin is in the middle. He's dressed as the turkey. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> you, Remember the Thanksgiving episode we too. did? We all had the fucking headdresses on. Nick, yeah. St. Patrice in a big, dumb Indian headdress. Yes. <laughs> Nick. 
That was not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think of Macy's? Because it would build a nice buzz. Oh, the show must be coming back. Oh, I remember that show. No, he's right. It would be a good buzz. Right, right. Imagine so. all the people like, hey, all these like nice soccer moms. Oh, what's going on with this show? Us good-naturedly poking fun at each other, keeping it clean because we're on the float. <laughs> That's right. Ah, oh, would you have too much cornbread last night? I mean, ah, yeah. somebody yeah. helped themselves to the yeah. stuffing. Yeah. Al Roker and them are like, oh, there's the tough crowd float. Yeah. Those okay. guys are coming back on NBC. <laughs> we, we'd have like a special sign made up. Yeah. Um, tough crowd. Check uh -huh. out these turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could be good. Yeah, that was really unhelpful. Nick. Oh. Right. So when in Philly, I'll, we'd have to coordinate I don't know our if schedules. I would have even taken that call if I was running this joint. We'd have oh, to coordinate really? our schedules uh, because there's, there's yourself, Nick, Keith, Bobby, oh. me, Voss. There's six of us. So how would we do it? Because you can't leave anybody out. There's no women on the show. Oh, that's a good point. They get Judy Gold. Maybe yeah. Bonnie. Was Bonnie, Bonnie was never on, though, was she? Yeah, she, yeah, she was. Once, that's yeah. where she met her, her betrothed. Is that she right? She probably has traumatic memories yeah, it's true. of the day she stuck in the doorway <laughs> and met Voss. And go, hey, this guy's kind of cute. <laughs> so, um, yeah, get Bonnie and Judy You're right. You know what? I didn't think of that. Yeah, but I'm just saying for the first episode, I wasn't thinking of the diversity. Six but, people are not going to fit on the first episode. No, I know. But this guy, like, we used to tag team people in. How do you do that? Right, that's a. We also Colin. have to extend the episode because it used to be thirty minutes on TV, so it was a twenty-two minute episode. But if we're doing an hour, having two other guys might help. You're not a TV producer. The way you're, the way you're. But I'm not talking to the layman. Your officious voice is really annoying me right now. Like, However, well, he, he knows your minutes. Good. It's a thirty-minute episode. We do twenty-two minutes, so it's not a thirty-minute. It's a twenty-two-minute episode. Well, I mean, on TV, it's a thirty-minute well, yeah, episode. It's a live show. Yes. Shut up. He, Colin knows I'm right. He doesn't like the fact. I don't like the way his hands are right now. He's acting like he's a corporate. They're exactly like, like Colin's network. hands. Exactly. Our, our hands are right. exactly the same, by the way. Look at Colin's hands. <laughs> Look at mine. Our hands are exactly the same. They're both your your fingers are interlinked. Just replay. The past two minutes of him talking, and you're yes. going to hear a guy doing a bad impression of a network executive. No, what you can yeah. hear is a 50 year old man that's trying to avoid the belt who's like, Come on, guys, let's go out there and do a gig. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> let's have are, some fun. There are some helpful ideas coming. Oh, good. In. Oh, geez. Sal on Staten Island. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sal, you there? Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, I was just thinking if instead of going to Philly, why don't you guys go to Manch Vegas? And uh, you could film in the PFG studios with Scorch. <laughs> what do you think if we got Scorch to broadcast uh, the big reunion? <laughs> that could actually be good. Ah, <laughs> I love it. Well, what's your thought? What about this? Yeah. Y'all lunch the biggest comedian of all time, Kevin Hart. Right. Won't you go to him? Yeah. Ask to be on the Laugh Out Loud network. Yes. No. You know what? The LOL network is one thing, but what will be worse than me as a businessman is Kevin as a mogul making a decision. None of us want to go in and look at Kevin at a table, scratching his chin, debating whether or not he'll hand us our careers back. That's a good point. <laughs> You'd really enjoy it, wouldn't you? That's he? a damn good point. <laughs> None of us. Wearing like $800 sneakers with his feet up, his little yeah. baby feet up. I love y'all. I love y'all. And shut. Nobody wants that. <laughs> yes. We I would want your love. Rather, we want your money, Kev. I'd rather fucking die in the TLA in Philly in front of 300 people because no one's interested. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Kev, right. we don't want you love. Cash! Give us some cash, Kev! <laughs> That's a damn good idea, the LOL network. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. That's but a fucking good idea. It would be putting... Uh... Kevin in charge. Kevin in charge. It's okay. Well, Kevin's that's already... how it goes. There's no other way around it. It's yeah, not... it's good to have a... Hey, he's... Better hey, him the... than some idiot that doesn't get comedy. Guys, hey, we just gave you all these ideas to really get, put a kickstart into your career. You guys gave me no... The only one that came up with a fucking idea was Terrell from Tennessee. <laughs> yes, okay. he did. We needed some hick from however, Tennessee to come up with the Terrell, idea that yes, works. Terrell is a fool. But however, yeah. it was me nudging. Huh? Somebody was elbowing you and needling you the entire show. I brought it back up. And sure. took the ridicule, and then took the ridicule like a big boy. Stop acting like it's on the air. It's not going to happen. It's going no, no. But we're going to we're going to do we're it. We're going to do one shitty live gig shows no. in Germantown, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> not even in Philly. We're going to do it so in Philadelphia, up. and maybe one other place. Kevin's going to film it. That's right. And he he's going to you know, he's going to probably want more money than we want to give him, and then he's going to put it on LOL. I'm telling you, that's a great idea, and I hate that we didn't think of it. But I'm mean, you know I'm glad we didn't think of it because he would have poo pooed it. He would have. What he are you trying have. to say? Just because Terrell came up with it? I no, like because it. we all heard it spontaneously together. You didn't have time to poo-poo it because we were all hearing it and, and equally excited. Are you excited, Colin? No. Yes, he is. He Not seems excited. I've got it. Make a tough crowd app. Did you ever think about that? Make, an, That's make, not your, a bad make idea. your own app. Well, you, you can write in and the winner of the day gets us to tease a topic. Right. Right. Apps are big. They are. Apps are real big. You could put it on your phone. On your, you could even put it on your iPad. 
I don't like the way you just shot down the reunion idea. I think the idea of the tour would be fun. No, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want do to do it. a couple of gigs. He's doing one in every crowd. Split Maybe. the money. You yeah. get more than us, we'll split the right. You know, come on. No, it's not about the money. I know. Demonet. Do it in uh, fucking Philly. Maybe start it in Philly. Have you thought about that? Philadelphia? <laughs> we can all drive there. There's no airfare. No hotels if we don't want to. Oh, it is driving distance. If we did do it, Philly would be the place to do it. Yeah. Right. It would be fucking fun. You know. And it would be, uh, you know, we get us all together. Me, you, Nick. Dave, actually, maybe Bobby, something even better than doing it live. Dave boss, in San Francisco Keith. has an idea. What's up, Dave? Yeah, I think you, uh, it's Nate from San Francisco. I think you guys should do a live show in all the major cities like New York, San Francisco, Philly, oh. and you can uh, make make a compilation on Netflix. I've been a huge fan for a long time. See? I think I think seeing both sides of an argument was what made that show great. It wasn't just all controversial negativity because you had Patrice yelling at people with different ideas and it was just uh, the best show on TV at the time. It was very honest. You know, to hear race discussed uh, between Nick and Patrice, or uh, and everybody being funny and honest. Yep. And, uh, you know, there was times Patrice was, would win, and there was times Nick would win, or, or Geraldo would win. Everybody won, and everybody lost points. And that, that's what the fun part of it was. It was, it was just an honest, honest show. What if you filmed, a, well, you did the Tough Crowd live show, you filmed it, and then you put it at VossRoast.com? <laughs> <laughs> And you could <laughs> just, just as one idea. That is the go-to place for yeah. edgy underground things. 